Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. This is a good time for a celebration. Today is a good day. Today is a great day to celebrate God. I'm talking about the great God who loves me and who cares for me. I am so very grateful that this morning I woke up alive. <laughs> that sounds funny, doesn't it? But think of the many things that could have happened to me or you throughout the night, and we would not be here at this time. I just want to give God thanks for him doing great things for me, things that I really need to get from day to day. And today, I want to celebrate him. Okay, you might not be very happy today. Your circumstances might not be the best that you desire. But I just want me and you to stop for a moment and think of the goodness of Jesus. Think of his faithfulness. You know something? Maybe I should not have started like that because I don't know if you know God on a personal level. So why don't we stop for a moment and talk about knowing God in a real way. To know God is to love God. Or if I could say it another way, to know God is to engage in a love relationship with God. God loves you very much. No, I'm not joking. You are very important. You are very special. You mean the world to God. And God is a demonstrative God. He demonstrates his power in the world around us. Mountains, oceans, seasons, animals, the flowers in your garden, or the wild gorillas in the forests. But that's not all. In fact, this is the greatest act of demonstrating his love. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 and verse 8. No, no, I'm not preaching to you. Please, I'm not preaching. But you know love. And you know that if someone says that they love you, you want to see that love in action. That is what God did for you, man. That is what God did for you. He put his love into action. He opened up the doors of heaven and he sent his son down to earth. We call him Jesus. But he sent Jesus on a mission. I know you know this, but I must say it anyway. Jesus did not come to earth on a long vacation. Jesus didn't come to check out how the world was getting on. Jesus was on a death by love mission. It was made known that Jesus was sent by his Father, God, to earth because of love. And this great and magnanimous love was demonstrated in the sacrificial death of Jesus. Yes, it was a horrible death, crucifixion on a cross, raised up on that cross like a common criminal. Why? So that if you and I and the person next door or across the seas believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and if you and I believe that Jesus is the Savior of the world and invite him into our lives, we enter into a love relationship with God. It is that simple. Let me share this metaphorical reference so that you get a vivid picture of what goes on when you enter into a relationship with God through Jesus. Here it says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Revelation 3 and verse 20. I mean, just imagine you have a private visit from Jesus and when he steps into your home, he comes to hang out with you. He comes and you and him can have a meal together and it doesn't matter what you serve. The purpose of Jesus coming into your home is to spend time with you. Just you and Jesus. And you know something? It's forever. That's the God love I am talking about. Doesn't that sound special? And in reality, that is what happens when you enter into a real-life relationship with God and His Son, Jesus. You know something? Before we go any further, let us just pause to give you an opportunity to invite Jesus into your life.
You really don't have to wait for a special occasion. In fact, this is a special occasion because you are about to do the most special thing in your life. So, are you ready? Just recite this prayer after me. Dear God, thank you for loving me. That you sent your son Jesus to die for me. Today, I want to enter into a personal relationship with you. Come into my life, Jesus. Please come in to stay. Amen. You did it. You did it. You did it. Praise the Lord. That is like the greatest decision you've ever made. And I just want to commend you, applaud you, and celebrate with you for making this great and momentous decision. Wow. So where were we? Oh, we were talking about celebrating God, remember? God has been good to me, good to you, to each of us. And today, I invite you to join me in celebrating God and some really great features about God. I want to share with you one of my favorite pieces from the Bible that says it in so much of a better way than I could arrange it. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3 verses 22 and 23. Isn't that lovely? I want to say thank you for celebrating God with me in this time that we had together. And before we end our time together, especially if you prayed that prayer earlier, you are now a child of God. All joke aside, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. You are a child of God simply because you prayed that prayer earlier from your heart. If you care to, will you tell me about it? Send me an email to friendofclyde at gmail.com. I love you, my friend, but God loves you even more.